Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and welcome back to my grotto. I'm bringing you guys my first official book review. I know that I did some like rambling fangirl sesh with my Akawar book, but this is more of my official book review. It's a little bit more formatted and I wrote some notes so that way I can kind of keep myself more and check with what I'm saying and I'm not rambling on forever and ever and ever. So it's gonna be a really quick, really short book review, so let's just get into it. So the book that I'm gonna be reviewing reviewing today is The Most Dangerous Place on Earth by Lindsay Lee Johnson. This is an adult contemporary fiction. It came out earlier this year, I believe early January if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just gonna set say it now before I get into it, The Most Dangerous Place on Earth, at least according to Lindsay Lee Johnson, is an American high school, more specifically a high school in the Bay Area. If anything, I had so much fun reading this and carrying this book around me and having people around me trying to figure out what the most dangerous place on earth was. And I had people tell me like volcanoes. I had someone tell me like some like a specific jail. So it was really interesting getting people's different um, ideas of what the most dangerous place on earth was just by me carrying this around. So the way I'm going to do this review is going to be really quick. I'm just going to do a quick summary um, without any spoiler. And what I liked about this book and what I didn't like about this book and my overall thought on it. So this book is broken into three different parts. It's broken into eighth grade, senior year, and junior year. It starts with eighth grade at uh, Valley Middle School where a tragic event takes place. This tragedy involves eight other students who we then follow throughout their junior and senior year and we learn how the events that happened in eighth grade have affected them and how they shape them now going into senior junior year. We also have an additional perspective of a teacher who has no idea what the kids have gone through in eighth grade and she's new to this high school and she's just kind of trying to find her place. So this book was actually really quick, really fast paced. It did take me a while because I'm kind of going through a reading slump right now and I'm trying to fight through it. This is a really quick read. It's like 250 pages and I like that it was a fast paced book for a contemporary novel which I was not expecting. I also really love that each chapter was a different perspective from a different student and each chapter told the story of that student. The one thing that I thought was really different was that each student only had one chapter and that was it. Uh, you do get to see the students throughout other students' stories if that makes sense. Uh, so you don't just see them in that one chapter and then they're gone but you do get to kind of follow them throughout other students' stories. The other thing that I really enjoyed about this was not that we just saw the characters and how the other characters saw each other but it was also the teacher's perspective. Like it was pretty refreshing kind of seeing how everybody was dealing with this tragic event that had happened but throughout the teacher's eyes and especially because she had no idea what had happened so it was kind of it was kind of nice to see that just to see like a whole new pair of eyes looking into the situation um I will say that I didn't really care for the teacher like she seemed kind of boring and just kind of like meh like kind of there but when she was talking about her students and when she was in the classroom setting and she was coexisting with her students I really enjoy those parts like I really enjoy seeing her see the students and kind of wonder like what is happening with them like why are they this way and then like the next chapter you get to read about that student and like why they are the way they are and it was just kind of nice to see like a different f perspective basically a couple of things that I didn't really care for in this book was how over the top some of the th some of the things seem um like the students would get themselves into situations and they just seem like over the top situations there was also like a lot of drugs and drinking and exploitation on social media is that a word well there was a lot of that um, and it just seemed all over the top and not necessarily far-fetched because I know that these are issues that teenagers get, they go through, they go, you know, there's drugs involved and drinking and partying and they're having sex and this is stuff that teenagers, it's like real things that teenagers go through. So it's not, it wasn't that it was far-fetched and it was like not realistic, it was not that at all. It's just like the way that happened and like the consequences were so over the top, so over the top. So uh, that was a little bit, like, it threw me off a little bit, and I was a little, like, mm -mm, about it. Also, the adults in this book made me so freaking angry. Like, these kids would be out drinking and partying and on drugs, and there would be a car crash, and someone would get 
severely hurt and they would come home and their mom would be like you're grounded for two weeks you can't use you can't go out but like that's it like that was literally all they did is like they grounded them for like two weeks and even at some point like one of the kids got grounded and they were grounded for like a week and he was like I'm, I didn't even last a whole week because my parents were just kind of like hey whatever like really like really that's that's all like you're just gonna ground them and take their computer away like and I do understand like this is supposed to take place where there's a lot of like privileged like privileged families and all of these kids are actually privileged so I do understand like that their families and their parents are off like busy going to work making money doing their thing and I understand that but it just seems so like like bs the way that their parents would deal with these children like it was just like so stupid to me that no one really cared there was also a point in here where one of the students was going to therapy like her their parents were making her go to therapy so she went to therapy and she just like bs this therapist and just like made up all these answers and the therapist gave her meds to kind of help with her like anxiety and what she was going through and she just like dumped them in the toilet and her parents didn't even follow through like her parents didn't even like care like they didn't seem to be involved in it at all and it's like child's life and like what she was going through and like this character was kind of like one of the main people that was involved in like the tragic incident in eighth grade so it was just like it just seemed like they didn't care like they weren't even there which i get like i get i get but i don't know it just was like it made me angry that the parents didn't even care. Overall, I thought this was a great debut novel. I thought it executed it was executed fairly well. Um, if anything, I think the formatting of how this was written was kind of what hit home for me was because I love books that are in different POVs. So the fact that this was in POVs, I think is what kind of really spoke to me in a personal level because that's what keeps me engaged. Like that's what I'm into and so I really I that's what kind of did it for me I think I rated this a four out of five stars and I felt like I did rate this a little bit more generously than I would have wanted to but I think that the POV thing is what did it again for me so I think that's where my generosity comes from because I have a soft spot for stories like this and again this is a contemporary adult novel and I don't I guess it could be read like it could be a YA but it's definitely adult fiction if anything by the authors that blurb this which some of them are just to name a few is Anthony Doerr, uh, Janet Fitch, uh, Seth Greenland. Definitely looking forward to more of Lindsay's novels. I'm kind of excited to see what else she comes out with. Um, yeah so if you have read it or heard of this book or have any questions let me know down below in the comments. Uh, thank you for bearing with me for my first review like this was actually kind of hard I had to kind of write notes and kind of get like my thoughts together so uh, now that I've done it I'm kind of excited to do more so we'll kind of see how it goes if you guys have any suggestions for me in my reviews let me know because I'm still a noob at this and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna pretend like I am and I'm just gonna wing it so any suggestions are greatly appreciated down below in the comments don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys for watching <laughs>